So the next most common grip that you're probably going to see is the lapel grip because it's right here. It's also the thickest part of your uh, gi. So it's easy to grab and it's a good target, right? There's a lot of control here. So what I always want to think about when my partner grabs my lapel, first I'm going to think, oh crap, right? Next I'm going to think, how am I going to get rid of this? Because when I was a beginner in jujitsu, a lot of the time people would grab me here and I would just continue to fight thinking I could fight around this grip. Wrong. Totally wrong. You need to get rid of it. So when Stefan has a really tight grip, there's a couple ways I can look at this, okay? And whether you're on your feet or you're on the ground, it's the same thing. Again, that concept of separating yourself in two directions, not just in one. The first way that you can do this is you can just go ahead and grab around your partner's sleeve. So I want to take away as much excess as possible. I don't want to have a loose grip. So I'm going to go ahead and make two fists right around Stefan's wrist. At this point, I'm also looking at how my stance is, right? I don't want to be completely upright where I'm going to lose my balance if I go backwards. I'm going to have a little bend. And I want to be thinking about taking his arm and punching it away, diagonally away from me, while I'm also stepping back. So there, that's that two force motion. So I'm here, and then I'm going to step back, and I'm going to force his hand away. Right? Two hands, either side of the sleeve, you're going to look to punch away and step back. Again, once I'm here, I have his sleeve. Don't just let it fly away. If you have it, turn it into something useful for yourself. The other way that we can look at stripping this grip is something that I think is really effective when your partner has crazy manhandle grips, okay? You ever have that person that has like some sort of strength from another planet, right? So with this one, there's a couple details. I want to think about using the palm of my hand against the palm of his hand. The other thing I want to do is with my hand here, this meaty part of my thumb is going to come and curl underneath his fingers. So I'm not grabbing on top of his knuckles, it's actually curling behind his fingers. This actually get, lets me wrap right around his hand so that when I go ahead and do the same punching motion, I have a little bit more control over that hand. What it feels like for me is that here, this is kind of a strong grip, my wrist is in line with my forearm and the back of my hand. But by pushing against my knuckles, you're changing my hand out this way where it's much weaker. It's like trying to pick up a heavy bar like this as opposed to this or doing pull-ups here as opposed to there. It's just a much weaker hand position. It is. It's a much weaker hand position and it's also giving me a little bit more of an opening, right? Because when you grab me, you're looking to really force this hand in here like you were saying. So you've actually got more fabric. So this is giving your partner more control. If I'm able to bring my palm in and turn his hand out just a little bit, I have less fabric that I have to pull away. So this is really good when your partner's super strong, you're having a hard time getting away from them. I'll take the extra time to sometimes get this set up and then I'll strip away. A lot of the times your partner, once they make this grip too, they're not, if you, if you go ahead and you start looking to strip it away, I'm not going to fear that he's going to strip my grip. I think, man, I got bitchin' strong arms and I'm going to hold on to my partner. I don't go like this. I don't go, oh no, Stefan's going to start stripping my grips. Let me make another grip, right? Your partner's going to hold on. So if Stefan holds on really tight, I'm going to take the time to set it up. And believe it or not, from here, I'm going to be able to get rid of that grip. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of fighting your way past those knuckles, really. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So again, this is the big detail. You need to remember, yeah. you got to curl behind these fingers. It can't be on top. Yeah. It feels completely different. Right. And again, this is the same whether you're standing or you're on the ground. If you're on the ground, it's the same dynamic, except you're just going to be pushing up. And we'll demonstrate that later.